Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here with me today. Thank you so much. And I want to give a shout out to a person that bought me several cups of coffee. Thank you so much. I'm going to have lots of energy. Today is Monday, the 14th of August, 2023. Recent events and two recent articles that I read about homelessness here in the United States inspired me to yeah, bring this attention to more people. Recently, I read an article about the homeless population in Hawaii and another one from Montana. I believe what we're starting to see is a migration of people, much like what happened during the Dust Bowl where people were moving to other areas where they could find work and uh, a place to live. Here in South Dakota, boy, there's been an influx of people moving from other states here. According to the U.S. government, which I know downplays everything, more than a half a million people have experienced homelessness in America last year. The Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, counted around uh, 582,000 Americans experiencing homelessness in 2022. That is an 18 people per 10,000 in the U.S., up by about 2,000 from the year of 2020. You know, and I know a lot of people fall through the cracks and they're not counted. The HUD's definition of homelessness includes both sheltered and unsheltered people. Sheltered people are living in domestic violent shelters, uh, transitional shelters, safe havens that serve homeless individuals with severe mental illness. There's also the men and women shelter that are trying to escape uh, domestic violence, or they're staying in hotels. Unsheltered people live outdoors or in cars, in abandoned buildings, or other place in habitation. There was a recent article about some uh, mansion in Hollywood, I believe it was, that was taken over by what they called squatters. I'm sure they're not taking over abandoned homes if they're not homeless. People staying with friends are only considered homeless if they cannot stay there longer than 40 days. Native Hawaiians and other Pacific Islanders are 1.8% of the homeless population here in America, despite being just 0.2% of the U.S. population. They have the nation's highest rate of homelessness at 121 per 10,000. Despite the long years of the housing shortage there in Maui, only last week did they hold their first ever meeting about the shortage of homes for people. Even during that meeting, nothing was done. All they did was have um, a meeting to introduce each other, and no plans were put on the table, none whatsoever. Their next meeting is scheduled for August 29th. In Montana, social service providers have noticed a spike of baby boomers in emergency shelters. They admit that it is very difficult to count the homeless population. In Montana, it's estimated that 1,800 people over the age of 55 are homeless so far in 2023. 400 more than in 2021, according to the data from Homeless Management Information Systems. H-M-I-S. The count is made up of both newly homeless seniors and those who have been homeless for a long time, but now are aging on the streets. Baby boomers are especially vulnerable to homelessness due to their reliance on Social Security, which has failed to keep up with inflation and because they typically have fewer safety nets in place. Born after World War II, many baby boomers in towns like Bozeman and Kalispell were ill-equipped for the sudden rise in rent, this is across the country, and the shortage of other more affordable housing. They have lost count on how many phone calls they have received from people older than 55 that have lived in the same house for decades and had the same owners for decades who never missed paying their rent then all of a sudden they're losing their housing. Homeowners 
are either selling to make a profit or renting their properties or turning them into air bed and breakfasts or evicting their long-term tenants in order to house their own children. In Bozeman, for example, the bare minimum monthly cost of living rings up to about $2,400 a month, while seniors in the area bring in an average, now this is an average, of $1,100 a month on Social Security. Myself, my Social Security is only $900 a month. The rising cost has often had unique housing and health issues. They're relying on more emergency shelters that are not designed to care for older adults. One warming shelter has a concrete floor and was originally designed to be a roller skating rink. The rink is now lined with bunk beds fitted with plastic covered mattresses. And at night there's the sound of snoring. After a lifetime's worth of working in the community, it's the last place seniors expect to be. But last year, this one warming center served 175 unique individuals ages 55 and up. In the world of emergency social services, 55 years old are considered seniors as opposed to the typical 65-year-old mark. That's because living on the streets is brutal on the human body. The longer someone goes without housing, the shorter their life expectancy is. Dropping down from about 77 to about 45 years old. The CDC released a paper of last year talking about how the life expectancy here in the United States has dropped two years in a row. Life expectancy at birth in the United States declined nearly a year from 2020 to 2021. Um, that decline, 77 point years old to 76.1 years old but if they're going to be living on the streets and they're homeless it's going to be even a bigger drop unhoused individuals develop geriatric problems earlier and catch chronic diseases at a higher rate than their housed counterparts emergency shelters are not designed to accommodate physical needs associated with aging to be in a shelter the people need to be independent of their activities of daily living, like getting dressed or getting in and out of bed on their own, because shelters aren't staffed with trained health care providers or even nursing assistants. They are not long-term care facilities. In Montana and many other states, there is a lack of nursing homes and assisted living in the country, let alone the lack of funding for the problem the programs for folks that are on low income. When a homeless person is treated at a hospital, they're often discharged back to the streets, especially as nursing home and living assistant beds disappear. Dana Mitchell, an HRDC senior service navigator in Bozeman, Montana, received a call about a senior who was a guest at the warming center, but recently sustained a traumatic brain injury. His care far exceeded what the shelter was able to provide. He needed a support system that really isn't available. The shortage of services extended beyond HRDC's funding limitation and ranged from senior and long-term care, behavioral health and support, and dementia care. You know, but yet Biden's got billions of dollars to send to other countries, Ukraine, Mike Pence, when questioned about the money being sent to Ukraine and how the money is needed here for the U.S. citizens, he flat out said that he did not care about U.S. citizens. What, he doesn't care about our homeless veterans who have served this country for decades? Last year in 2022, there in Montana, 11 rural nursing homes closed throughout the state and the remaining facilities are unable to care for the people with substance use or disorders or severe mental illness. Limited funding from state Medicaid, the public insurance for low-income residents, has also failed to adequately cover the cost of delivering services. As a result, providers often lose huge amounts of money 
when treating Medicaid patients. The massive loss in revenue led nursing homes and assisted living administrators to limit the number of Medicaid patients they'll accept, favoring private paying customers instead. They're also poorly equipped and lack the resources to care for patients with high needs such as dementia, substance use disorders, mental illness, or obesity, according to um, previous reports that was on the Gazette there in Montana. There in Montana, and this is also in all the states here in the Union, as an alternative to institutionalization, long-term care, care, Governor Greg Gianforti has encouraged elderly Montanans to age in their homes. Well, when they sell it out from under you, raise your rent so high that you can't afford the rent, you have no choice. Where are you going to go? Many of these people don't have family to help them. They have nowhere to go. They have no friends or family to help them. Sometimes moving an ailing family member into a setting with a family caregiver can actually be the catalyst for homelessness. Many times a senior will move in with a son or daughter only for their relationship to break down. They don't have the realistic information or understanding of what family caregiving is going to look like, when in truth it's really challenging. There has been a tremendous uptick in violence against unhoused people. How many times have we heard about a homeless person being beaten to death? Many cities have made it difficult for homeless individuals to exist in public places because of a ban on panhandling and carrying excessive personal belongings. In many cities, there is a shortage of low-income housing, and they're not building any new ones. Often, any new housing that crops up is in an area that costs far more than what seniors can afford. Because of the shortage of funds and social workers, social workers no longer can keep up with the health care that many seniors need and stay on top of medication and med mental health issues. Here we have under U.S. facts the number of people that are homeless, supposedly. Like I said, I know this is greatly underrated, but they got uh, Pacific Islanders, Blacks, Native American, uh, mixed race, any race, whites, and Asians. For homeless veterans, evidently, 20 out of every 10,000 veterans are homeless. Homelessness looks very different across each state and localities. The Government Accountability Office found that rising rents and job losses contributed to homelessness. This article also talks about public place counts. First, they rely on a known a list of places where homeless people might gather, which could lead to an undercount. People living in cars or checking in and out of motels are missed. People may also deliberately hide to avoid the count. A lot of the baby boomers, boomers had some really good jobs in the past. A lot of baby boomers never worked. They were stay-at-home moms. We have all this money that we can send to Ukraine. Biden sending, what, another $200 million this week to Ukraine. That money could be used to make more low-income housing. You know, a place that a person can feel safe, have the feeling of independence. You know, people that have pets, which is often restricted in having pets when you rent, is important for an elderly person for their mental well-being what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing as always be prepared as you can please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye